Hi everyone, this video is a guide on how to find the products of prime factors. So first of all, we're going to talk about what that actually means. So product is basically a posh word for multiply. A factor is a number that divides by another number exactly. For example, 2 is a factor of 10. And a prime number is a number only divisible by 1 and itself. So for the products of prime factors, we need to find prime numbers that multiply to make a given number. So for this first one, we need to find the prime numbers that can multiply to make 72. So I start by writing 72 and drawing two lines. I'm going to call these legs for the, for the rest of the questions. So now I need to think of two numbers that multiply together to make 72. Now there's no point in choosing 1 and 72 because you just end up with the same number you started with. So there's no point in doing that. So instead, I'm going to choose 8 and 9. But you could choose 6 and 12 or 2 and 36. So there's different options for each question. But in this case, I'm choosing 8 and 9. So to the side, I've written down my prime numbers as a reminder. Now, neither 8 or 9 are prime numbers, so they need another two legs each. And we do the same thing again. We need two numbers that multiply together to make 8, choosing 4 and 2. Now, 2 is a prime number, so we're going to circle that. For 9, I'm choosing 3 times 3. See, 3 is a prime number, so I'm going to circle both of those. And now I've got the four left, two times two makes four. And two is a prime number, so I'm going to circle those. So now you need to write out all the circled numbers as a multiplication number sentence. So you've got two times two times two times three times three. So now on to the next one, finding prime numbers that multiply to make 108. So I start by writing 108 and doing the first two legs. And then I'm going to write out my prime numbers again up to 17 as a little reminder. So the first multiplication I can think of to make 108 is 9 times 12. Neither of these are prime numbers, so I'm going to find two numbers that first multiply together to make nine. I'm going to choose three times three. These are prime numbers, so they get a circle. And then for 12, I'm going to do two times six. Obviously, you can do three times four, two, but I've chosen this one. Two is a prime number, so we circle it. And then I can do... 2 times 3 to make 6. And both of those are prime numbers, so I circle them both. And then we can write out the multiplication sentence. So 3 times 3 times 3 times 2 times 2. So now we're going to look at bigger numbers that aren't in our usual recall of times tables up to 12 times 12. In this case, 240. So 240 ends in a zero, and any number that ends in a zero is divisible by 10. So that is going to be one of my first numbers on my first pair of legs. And 24 lots of 10 will be 240. Neither of these are prime numbers, so I'm starting with 24, and I'm going to do 8 times 3. 3 is a prime number, so I'm going to circle that. Then for 10, I'm going to do 5 times 2. Both of these are prime numbers, so I'm going to circle them both. I just realised I forgot to put the 5 in on my prime numbers. Then for the 8, I'm going to do 4 times 2. 
2 is a prime number, so we circle it. And then for the 4, we do 2 times 2. Both of these are prime numbers, so they are circled. So then when writing out the multiplication, there's four twos. So we write 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And then times 3. And then times 5. So for this next one, we're going to look at what to do if you're not confident with times table recall or if you forget your times table facts. So we're looking for the product of prime factors of 96. Now 96 is an even number, which will always be divisible by 2. So I'm going to put a 2 for one of the legs and then I'm going to use bus stop division method to work out 96 divided by 2. 9 divided by 2 is 4 with 1 left over. And then 16 divided by 2 is 8, making 48. 2 is a prime number, so we circle that. Again, 48 is an even number, so we can divide that by 2. Dividing by 2 is the same as halving. So first of all, I'm going to halve 40, which is 20, and then halve the 8, which is 4. 20 plus 4 is 24. I'm going to circle the 2 again because it's a prime number. Then 24, I can halve again. So I'm going to start by putting the 2, and then half of 24 is 12. Circle the 2 again, then I'm going to halve 12, dividing it by 2, half of 12 is 6, I'm going to divide, uh, circle the 2, then divide 6 by 2 again, and that gives us 3, 3 is a prime number, so we can circle that. So I've got 5 2's, so this will be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, and then times by 3. Then finally, sometimes you'll be asked to do powers of prime factors. Now this means the little numbers that sometimes float above a number, like a square or a cube. So looking at our previous examples, starting with 108, we can see that we've got three threes and two twos. So starting with the threes, I write the number that we're dealing with, in this case, three. And then, because there's three of them, I'm putting a little three above, as by doing, as I'm essentially doing three times three times three, which is cubing. I'm then going to repeat with the two. I start by writing the number we're dealing with. And then, because there's two of them, I put a little floaty two, as by doing two times two, that's the same as two squared. This next one with 240. There's four twos, so I can rewrite this as two to the power of four. So I write the two, and then I'm going to put a little four floating in the air. And then because there's only one three and one five, these can stay as they are. Then for 96, I've got five twos. So I start by writing the two, then put a little five in the air. And then because there's only one three, this can stay as it is. So that's how to find the product of prime factors. I hope you found this video useful and I'll be back soon with more videos. Thank you very much. Bye.